Here we go. So just add a little spice. <laughs> That's a lot of spice right there. You're over there adding scratching and things we would do with a turntable. He's actually doing it from, in this case, from D-Command. That looks like a lot. Was that fun to do? It was cool. That looked like it was a lot of fun. I, I think I want to have some fun now. That was so much fun. Let's add some more of the musical parts to the uh, to the track. And for that, we can bring up another plug-in. This one is called uh, Hybrid. Hybrid is included with the Pro Tools HD8 pack. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Anybody that buys an HD system, you get uh, all of the virtual instruments from air, basically. Structure, Strike, Velvet, Hybrid, Expand, and all the new ones that we're going to cover in, a, in just a moment. But Hybrid, the funnest thing about this one is that it's a really, it can be a really warm sounding keyboard, a lot of pads, um, you have arpeggiators, but the thing that I like about it is that all of my controls are up front, so if I want to go in and dial in the sound that I'm looking for, I can do it without having to go, you know, search through a bunch of different menus. In fact, I can have everything just pretty much routed to my keyboard, to the knobs on the keyboards and control things that way. So there we go. A little kind of a polysynth sound. So let's go ahead and record this in and see what we get. Okay, here's a count off for you. It's a mistake for you. Now, right there at the end, you saw that there's a purposeful mis mistake. I typically don't make these mistakes, but you know, just for the uh, for the for the demonstration, I want to. No, really, the point of it is that we, it's much easier now to edit MIDI inside of Pro Tools. In the past, I'm not going to say it was easy. It could be done. Now it's way easy because we've got a dedicated window. We've got areas we can go to make it easy to edit. What do you got there, Jeff? Yeah. So we've got a series of new editors in Pro Tools 8, and uh, one of those is the full dedicated MIDI editor window. Nice. This is awesome. One of the cool things about this is uh, your all your values, your grid, your tools, your edit modes, everything in here is totally independent of your edit window. So when I'm in here, I'm actually looking at 30 seconds now. Let's just jump in a little bit. I can tab through the notes, right? Beautiful thing. What do we end up with? <laughs> there you go. There's a couple of good ones for you. Let's chop those guys out for a second here. I'm going to shoot back. So I can obviously do things like uh, trim and notes. I can uh, transpose notes. We can also play with... Uh, Play with velocities, right? So we can actually come in here and uh, scale velocities. I can go to this mode up here where I can see visually the uh, velocity of the notes, right? Just by the, by the color saturation. Okay, so that's low. I'm going to pull that guy up. Now down below, you're also seeing automation data. So I, I not only want to see the velocity stalks, but I want to see, hey, what was he doing with that filter cutoff, which was mapped to a continuous controller? I'm just going to add an automation lane down here, and I can set that to, uh, in this case, mod wheel. He was tweaking. So uh, comprehensive MIDI editing in a separate window as a function of Pro Tools 8. We also have taken the fifth generation Sibelius engine for notation and dropped it into Pro Tools 8. Absolutely. And the notation is huge. We're looking at a single track, but you can also look at Pro Tools or your MIDI data in score view. So you can see multiple tracks at once and create your score on the fly. And of course, quickly and simply print out or send straight to Sibelius. Let's add some bass to this thing. I'm, I'm feeling okay. the need for some low end, some bass. Sounds good. And for go. bass, got another synth for you. It's included in Pro Tools 8. I think we're. I told him we were giving away too many things. If it's up to me. I just said don't give away so much. But we're gonna give away anyway. This is included. Vacuum. Uh, I'm gonna talk about this one. Vacuum is a monophonic synthesizer. This thing is totally cool. Uh, if you're tweaky and you're into synths, you're gonna love this. Even if you're not, there's a ton of great presets you can pull from. Monophonic. It's a tube synth, so you can actually play with the saturation, the drive, or the vacuum tubes, and uh, really sculpt the sound. And it can be really edgy if you want it to be. Yep. Listen to that. That's just that's edgy. You can even see the tubes glowing over there. I'm serious. That's how that's visual, so you can see how much you're driving it. I like that. Of course, since it's layered, we can also have within that edgy part that other subtle sound. So you can have layers of, of your patch, however you want to work with it. So let's lay this into the track. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
Good luck with that one, Jesse. There's going to be some fun in there. Okay. Well, that, we that third note there, let's just go ahead and jump to that editor. We might as well just fix that. Huh? <laughs> let's do that. So, uh, just zoom in here a bit. Take a look at our note durations for a second here. Let's pull that guy out a there little we bit. Go. Okay, let's just pop back out. Now, uh, what does it sound like? It sounds boring. Boring, just like the kick drum. When you have these kind of bass and drums, you, you got to do something to give them some extra life, right? So let's layer this. Okay. Common technique used in, in R&B music, probably any music, but certainly R&B. So you've got a lot of instruments in the template. What do you want to layer this with? Yeah, we've got some great stuff in here. So, so Pro Tools 8 now has a bunch of templates to start from. And in that, you've got boom drum machine, you've got pads, you've got synths, you've got grand piano. So let's just take this and drop it down to the next instrument track in our session, which contains mini grand. Nice. 1.5 gig piano, seven different piano models, a ton of different room acoustic options. This thing is great. Uh, so let's just see what that what that does. It's definitely got more personality now. It sounds like it's it kind of sticks out at you. I think with the mini grand, why don't we take that down an octave? Okay. And in Pro Tools, we have what we call real-time properties, so you can do these things without having to actually process the data. It's just all real-time. It's kind of like a plug-in, you might say, in the background. They're all over there. Yeah, we can actually see our groove template from here. We can conform that to the same groove we were using. We can just uh, pull this down by uh, transpose down an octave. Let's also uh, let's also remove some of the duration of the notes on the piano so that it kind of layers underneath the bass. So just come into durations and go to subtract and let's say 200 ticks. Let's see what that does for us. Here we go. Nice. Much better. 